One of the easiest ways of improving the performance of a software application is by implementing or using a cache. Here's everything you need to know about it. A cache is a temporary storage area that stores the results of frequently accessed data in memory so subsequent requests are served quicker. It's used in so many parts of programming, like your browser caching information so your page loads faster, several applications adding a cache layer to reduce calls to a database, and CDNs which I recently released a video about. They are a great addition to certain projects and can boost performance. Here are some things to consider when adding them to yours. First is when to use a cache. Caches are best used in scenarios where data is read frequently but modified infrequently. Cache data is usually stored in volatile memory and is not ideal for persistent data. If a cache server restarts or if a browser cache is cleared, all the data is lost. The second thing to consider is an expiration policy. It's good practice to implement an expiration policy on data stored in a cache. CDNs use time to leave header that acts as a timer on when the resource should expire. In multi-region applications, there should be some sort of way to ensure consistency between the data store and the cache. The third thing to consider is failures. A single cache can represent a single point of failure. Mechanisms should be put in place to bypass calls to a cache in scenarios when it's down or unavailable. Last but not least, consider creating an eviction policy. In situations where a cache is full, any request to add items to the cache may cause existing items to be removed. This is called cache eviction. The most popular eviction policy is least recently used, which removes items in the cache that have not been used recently. Other policies like least frequently used or first in first out can be adopted to satisfy different use cases. Follow Omakos for more programming content like this.